Oh my god, you guys couldn't just make the Pentagon armor. You put it on the back of the fucking box. It was right there. It was right there! Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but welcome back to another custom figure review. Today we're looking, we're looking at the Pentagon Iron Man kit for the Extremist Marvel Legends Iron Man by KYIM Customs. If you want to buy this sexy kit, the link will be in the description below to buy it on his website. Before we start the review, I just want to clear up some air about this armor. This is not the Extremist armor. This is an Iron Man armor called the Pentagon armor. A lot of dumbasses confuse these two armors because the Pentagon armor was also used in the Extremist run. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Extremist armor. Iron Man got this armor at the end of the Extremist comic run, but for the majority of the comic, he was using the Pentagon armor. So, now that I got that out of the way, now let's take a look at the figure. So, the only two problems I really have with this kit is that this little uh, plate that goes on the hand, right? It restricts the range of movement of going up on the hand by a lot, so it makes repulsor poses, like, a lot harder to do. Of course, the repulsors still go in there very well. That doesn't affect that at all, but like, it's hard to get them to sh like shooting them. But you can still like pose it around and get it uh, in ways to make it look good. My second problem with this figure is on the back of it. So when we come to the back, we see that these pieces do not connect. They were not big enough to wrap around and connect, which isn't a big deal, but it's just like a slight problem. You're not really gonna be looking at the back of the figure too much anyway, so it's not a big deal to me. Okay, so bringing in the original figure by comparison, you can see just how much some panel lining in this kit does for this figure. Obviously, I feel like most people like this design more, so if you like this design more, I would really recommend getting this kit because it looks amazing. Only If you're like slightly experienced with making customs, I don't think you're going to have a very big problem painting it. The only problem I really had was that um, the eyes. They were really hard to do the black outline, but even then, it only took me a few hours. As a matter of fact, I like this kit so much, I'm about to order another one for my Iron Patriot work in progress custom. If y'all ever want to see a review on this when it's finished, just let me know in the comments. But, but, but Nico, if you love the Pentagon Iron Man armor so much, why don't you just get the Sentinel one? You say crying to yourself. Well, yes, this figure looks almost perfect. This shit has a lot of problems. It's extremely fucking rare. Look at that price. Plus, it has this really gay and finicky armor gimmick that makes the armor fall off constantly and very, like, delicate, too. Okay, so looking at the kit, now let's get on to everything I love about the figure, which is basically everything else. First of all, this sculpt is extremely accurate to the comics. Just look at a few panels and comic covers and you'll see that this is basically one for one, just, like, how we look in the books. Another thing I love about this figure is how incredibly engineered it is. So like, look, you'd expect these shoulder pads to like restrict the movement a lot, but they don't. There's no, they're cleverly designed to avoid paint rub on here. And they stick uh, to just to the original shoulder pad, which was already pretty cleverly engineered. And so like, you don't have any problems with it at all. No paint rub, no nothing anywhere. So this kit is really easy to assemble. Basically, all you really need is a hair dryer and some super glue. So, obviously, you're just gonna glue these onto the hands. For the hair dryer, you're gonna need to heat up uh, these pieces and like, slide it up the arm. And it just like, flops right into there. You don't need super glue or nothing, it's just very firm in there. You also need to heat up this little diaper thing and slide it over the original. And you can take off the legs and slide it over the original crotch. Obviously, you of course gotta remove these uh, circle discs before you do that. Before we get onto articulation, I just wanted to mention that he also comes with these fist hands. So if you're worried about there only coming to be one set of these uh, little plates that go on the hands, it comes with two, one for the fists and one for the open hands. Here you can see that the articulation is basically unchanged from the base figure. The kit really doesn't interfere with the articulation at all, except for the things I talked about earlier. So of course you can still get them into some really dynamic and cool looking poses. Don't gotta worry about anything. And of course it's very well engineered, so you're not gonna get any paint chipping while posing this figure. Of course I did take the proper precautions and sand it down before I painted it and everything I think you should do with any 3D printed kit. 
so yeah that's my overall thoughts on this kit i think it is amazing the guy's really talented i'll leave his instagram and his website in the description below highly recommend ordering this one i think it's a really good time and you know i can't stop posing this thing this is probably my favorite figure right now and you know i really hope the paint job i did did the sculpt justice and you know it you know, if you, uh, the creator of the kit, you're watching this, I just want to say uh, thank you for making this dope-ass sculpt, you know. I love it. I'm sure many others will, too. So, yeah, thank you. And thank you, the viewer, for watching. So, yeah, I got to address, like, of course, uh, you know, I haven't been making videos for, like, a year. But during that year, I haven't just been sitting around with my thumb up my ass. I've been doing a lot of stuff. My life has been kind of busy. But I've also had time to make some customs. I know this isn't a year's worth of customs, but I made a Scarlet Spider, a Ultimate Carnage, a Zombie Spider-Man following up on that Zombies video I did a while back, a MCU Shocker concept, an Ultimate Iron Man, and an Ultimate Spider-Man. So I have a bunch of customs to review. Just let me know which one y'all want me to review next. And until next time, go fuck yourself.